Say he's making a mistake again, even though he's landing well and probably winning this fight. In the sixth round, Kalule not throwing many punches at all so far as we're halfway through the round. Leonard, though, has been throwing a lot of punches. One of Kalule's problems is that he does tend to slap with his punches and uh, often doesn't really get off the mark and fire, though in that last round he was doing it. Isn't it always the case after a big round for both fighters with a lot of punches thrown the next round, they come out and... Uh, Maybe just kind of catching their breath a bit. Yeah, this looks like a, a round in which, or at least part of the round, they're both taking a breather. Less than a minute to go in round six. Sugar Ray Ren Leonard just flicking that left jab out. And Kalule flicks the right jab. Really is a surprise that Kalule isn't trying to put a little more pressure on Ray at this point. Been a very clean fight so far. The referee has not even had to break a clinch because there have been no clinches. There's the jab of Kalule, a punch that he was able to land in the last round, but in this one, uh, it's just not getting there. So this round six turning out to be what you could call a coaster round. Or maybe the calm before the storm. <laughs> it's possible. This is Houston, Texas on June 25th, 1981. Sugar Ray Leonard and Ayub Kalule, and they mix it up at the end of round six. Coming up on round seven, our Super Bats. This is 1981. The Astrodome in Houston, Texas. Sugar Ray Leonard, Ayub Kalule for Kalule's WBA junior middleweight crown. And now kind of a sleeper round in round six. They were both, I think, taking it off. They were very active in the fifth round, and uh, um, now I would think that with that round off, they would pick up the pace a bit. Leonard sticks the right hand in. Both fighters finished with a bit of a flourish at the end of round six, but throughout most of that round, not much action, although Leonard did throw many more punches than Kalule, who now comes out throwing a lot in the seventh round. Good right uppercut by Kalule. And uh, what Ray has found out is he takes a straight left and shakes his head and says, uh-uh, it didn't hurt. What he's found out is that uh, Kalule is a fairly quick puncher. Ray had a few more words for Kalule at the conclusion of round six. I think to the effect of that I'm not really worried about you. I can take any punch at the throw. And so far, he has taken quite a few punches from Ayub Kalule. Good straight left hand a moment ago by Kalule. So... Ray apparently has the uh, confidence he can take him, but he is, uh, is taking some shots from Ayu. Is this consistent with the way Ray Leonard has fought throughout his career, this, this sort of confidence factor? Only in, the, well, in certain instances he's willing to exchange, as he was against Duran in a fight that, of course, he lost by a very close margin. Uh, but let's face it, we're used to seeing more lateral movement from him. Kalule, of course, a very straight-ahead fighter. And possibly Ray Leonard has been lulled into that sort of style. Well, you know, one of the misnomers is that Ray is only a boxer. He's a puncher. He, he got the KOs to prove it. And, uh, 19 KOs going into this fight in his uh, uh, 29 fights. And he's, uh, he can punch. So uh, he doesn't mind exchanging. But uh, I'm sure they, his cornermen feel that using that speed and lateral movement is a more effective way to go for him. This fight's scheduled for 15 rounds. Low shot right there by Kalule, who has landed some effective punches in the seventh round. Leonard has been content just to kind of sit back and take it all in as Kalule lands a straight right. Right hand of the body by Leonard. Now the uppercut. Kalule slipping punches uh, better, I think, than a lot of people thought he might. Well, he did a great there. job right there. The defense by Kalula. And he comes back and throws a couple of shots to the body. So an impressive round to this point by Ayub Kalule, originally from Uganda, fighting out of Denmark. As we come down to the conclusion of the seventh round, scheduled for 15.
Ayub Kalule. This is the eighth round, scheduled for 15. Kalule, the holder of the WBA Junior Middleweight Crown, Sugar Ray Leonard, our super baths from June 25th, 1981 at the Astrodome in Houston, Texas. And Al, at the top, talked about Kalule being a left-hander. How has Leonard fared so far against his style? Well, he's used the left hook to the body and the head very well. And he's kept his left foot, by and large, uh, outside the right foot of Kalule, which is one of the things you want to do against a softball. So Ray has not suffered too much from uh, the southpaw style. And Ray has met a couple of southpaws throughout his career, has he not? Yeah, he fought uh, Tony Cheverini, uh, kind of a journeyman from uh, Kansas City, and uh, uh, Edwin Villouet, uh, a southpaw from the East Coast. So uh, he's faced a couple of tricky southpaws. Now, Al, on top-ranked boxing, you do stick your neck out on the line and score fights <laughs> on occasion. Uh, not to get to real specific, but uh, how would you have this through seven rounds? You'd have to give Sugar Ray the edge. You're clearly winning a couple of rounds, perhaps. And uh, Sugar Ray has been the sharper puncher, I think, in this fight. And uh, Kalule has counterpunched well from time to time, but they've not been able to sustain a, an attack throughout. The sixth and the seventh rounds, really not that much action from Leonard. Kalule picked things up a bit in the seventh round. Uh, Leonard has come out throwing a few more punches here at the start of round eight. Leonard not really giving you that much movement as we saw early in the fight. Ray has landed the straight right hand occasionally, but not as much as he would want. There's an uncharacteristic Sugar Ray move, a wild left hook that missed. It looks like he's really trying to measure Kalule for that one big shot. He really is, and that, of course, is against what boxing purists think of Sugar Ray. Um, the fact is he can punch. He's got good punching power. Well, obviously, that was Al Bernstein and not Marvin Hagler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Roger Twibo. This is Super Bouts. And Sugar Ray Leonard. Coming off a of victory against Roberto Duran, meeting Ayu Kalule, who is the holder of the WBA Junior Middleweight Crown, and Sugar Ray Leonard flicking the left out. And I think Kalule has presented Leonard with the, a few more problems than he thought he would. Principally, I think, because he's been able to punch a little quicker than Ray thought. And uh, you can see uh, underneath the right eye of Ray a little bit of swelling. He's taken some straight lefts from Kalule. And Kalule coming in with a combination in the sixth and seventh rounds. Leonard really not too much action. Kalule a right hand, and Leonard countered. There's another left. So that's the most action we've seen from Ray Leonard in the last three rounds as we come down to the end of round eight. Getting set for the ninth round, the scheduled for 15. Al, are you surprised that this fight has gone this distance?